Hi everyone, I just wanted to do an energy check-in for you guys, see what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. I do want to say that the majority of the zodiac readings that I did at the beginning of this month, I got a very strong collective energy, probably like 9 or 10 of the zodiacs at least are in this transition phase where you guys are letting go of toxic people, um, toxic dating patterns, like if you've had, you know, patterns of dating emotionally unavailable or abusive people, you're, you're finally breaking those patterns and focusing on yourself and manifesting someone new and better. And so for the majority of you, I actually feel new love coming in for you. Um, and it's just, it's going to be different than anything you've ever known. It's going to be you know, I think you've been manifesting this for a while. I think you've been putting a lot of intention and energy into into finding your person, your, you know, your soulmate, your twin flame. And I feel like this, these, you know, this collective group is going to finally come in for you guys. You know, you're going to have someone that's, you know, nurturing and supportive, somebody who makes an effort for you. And it's just going to be such a drastic energy difference than any other kind of love you had in the past. And it's such a surprising collective energy shift because in the twin flame community, you know, it's always, we're always like seeing readings about, you know, oh, you know, your, your masculine or your feminine is going through the dark night of the soul or they're scared or they're insecure. They're not sure what they want. You know, they're, they're on the fence, just, just constant excuses, constant, like almost there, almost there, almost there type energy, you know, like, oh, maybe they'll reach out soon. Maybe they won't just just so, such uncertainty and it's just such a beautiful collective energy that I've been channeling where I feel like a lot of you guys are actually just moving on from that energy and, and releasing that person that just keeps going around in circles and keeps dragging you on that merry-go-round with them you know you guys are releasing that and you're saying you know enough is enough I want somebody who's sure of me and sure of themselves I want someone who knows who they are I want someone who's going to give me the love that I deserve. I want someone who's actually ready now for me. You know, you're you're ending these you guys are ending lifetimes of soul contracts of having to be patient and having to wait and having to do all the chasing and you know being alone and not being heard and understood. You're just you're ending lifetimes of of patterns and soul contracts. Um and you know you're you're setting really high standards for yourself. You're 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 you have some strong boundaries that you're setting right now. You're figuring out what you want, what you will and will not settle for in relationships. And you know you're manifesting your true love now. You're manifesting someone who's actually, you know, ready to match your energy. Someone who's gonna give you as much as you give them. Somebody who's who's ready for you. Somebody who wants the same kind of love and commitment that you want. And it's, it's such a beautiful energy, and it's so surprising to me because, I mean, in the Twin Flame and Soulmate community, it's it's all about, like, reunion with, with these people that are just not ready and not sure and just too scared and, and dealing with this and dealing with that and yada, 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 same old story again and again and again of having to wait for them. And it's, just, it's such a surprise because I kind of thought that the collective energy was going to lead towards reunion with that, and I'm seeing that the divine kind of just stepped in and said, you know what, enough is enough. Enough is enough. And the timeline just shifted. I don't know if it was like a portal that opened or what, but something drastic over the last couple months has just dramatically shifted for you guys, for this collective group that I channel. And, and you're, you know, you're changing the story. You're like, no, we're actually not going to go towards reunion with those people after all. We're, we're going to let those people go, the people that are just not sure about us, where you, know, you guys are letting them go and you're manifesting somebody new. This could even, for some of you, this new person might not even be someone you've had past lives with. It could be just someone that was like, I don't even know how to explain that energy. It's like they're destined for you, but you might not have known them in your past lives. It's like maybe it was like a new soul contract or something that was created with this person because it's like your guides saw how alone you were feeling and they saw your frustration with you know these toxic patterns you were repeating and then 
you know, this new person was kind of mirroring that and going through the same and feeling alone. And they're like, you know what, this would be a good match. Like they have like on a soul level, even though it's new, it's like this could be someone that you you end up knowing for thousands of years to come. You know what I mean? I mean, you always have to start somewhere. You know what I mean? You always think like, oh, I want someone I've had past lives with. Well, you know, there was there was always one original life where you met that person. So that's it's kind of like you're starting a new love story here. And that's, that's not to say that, and that's not for all of you. I mean, some of you, this person is someone you've had past lives with, you know, and it's not to say that like your, your twin flame or your soulmate or whoever you've been holding on to, it's not to say that you're not going to see them in your, in your future lives. You'll probably still have relationships with them in your future lives, but you're just, you know, I think that there was like one main life partner that was kind of set for you guys. And then the universe and the divine just got so sick of because they have free will, you know what I mean? And they just got so sick of them being afraid and so sick of them constantly, you know, putting you in situations where you have to wait for them and constantly be patient with them and constantly just, you know, be ignored, ghosted, just not getting the attention and time and energy you need. You know, they got sick of it. So I think that they were originally probably a life partner and I think the divine was working on them and trying to bring you guys together. And then I think at a certain point, you know, that your, your spirit guides, their spirit guides, you know, the, the powers that be, we're just kind of like, you know what, enough is enough. Like, I'm, I'm tired. Of, they're tired of seeing you hurt. And they're like, you know what, this is, you know, they, they, they tried to work on that person. They tried to heal them. And it worked a little bit, but it's, it's not, not as much as it needed to. You know what I mean? And at a certain point, they're like, you know what, I, I want, they want you to have a life partner that's going to be matched for you. So, so yeah, the timeline just kind of shifted drastically where I, I guess there must have been some sort of arrangement or meeting in the higher realms, I'm thinking. There was some kind of maybe discussion about the Twin Flame community, as crazy as it sounds. It's, it's what I'm channeling and what I feel, that there was just some kind of collective energy where they're like, you know what, enough is enough. Let's let's bring in a new group of D, of collective DMs or a new group of collective DFs. Like, let's, let's bring... A new group in let's match new people together people that are are both ready for this you know they're kind of tired of the the energies just not matching up um but again that doesn't mean that your soulmate in twin flame or whoever you've been holding on to it doesn't mean that's done forever like it 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 could come back around in 10 years it could come back around you know the next lifetime it's like if you have past lives with someone you usually do find them in, in most of your lives and connect with them still but, you know, this is a beautiful energy because it's like you have multiple potential life partners now. You're not just, you know, stuck waiting for this one person anymore. And I hope that brings you guys some clarity too because I think some of you are probably confused because you feel this new person coming in. Like you might be having dreams about them or you just kind of feel that energy um, and you're not sure what's going on. But... And you're probably thinking like, well, you know, a psychic told me like, or all the synchronicity was there with this, with this other person. And I thought that was my life partner. And it's like, well, it was, <laughs> but, but yeah, so many, it's, it's time for, for new energy. You know, you have more than one potential life partner. And if you have one that's just going in circles and just dragging you down with them again and again and again, eventually your guides step in and say, you know what, this person is not good enough for you anymore. We want more for you. So I just wanted to put that out there. It's just, it's a beautiful collective energy. It's just, it's so, it's just, there's so much potential for growth here. There's so much potential for true love, true happiness, to have the kind of life and, and kind of love that you've never had, but always prayed for and always wanted. Um, and there's so much potential here to, to break old soul contracts and old patterns. Like you might have, you know, like past life patterns and stuff of just heartbreak and, and waiting and loneliness. And, and you're, you're breaking not only those patterns, but also subconscious patterns, psychological patterns from this lifetime of going for, um, emotionally unavailable people. You're, you're breaking those patterns as well. And, and you're, your uh, type, if you have like a type, your type is kind of changing now. A lot of you will probably be meeting this new person unexpectedly. So, I mean, you can sit there and try to figure out who it's going to be all day long, but it's going to be different for each one of you. For someone, it is going to be someone that you've known coming back around. But for others, it's like you're just going to be out and you're going to go on like a blind date or you're going to meet them at like the grocery store or you're going to meet them 
um, just through a friend or at work or just some unexpected place. You're just going to be like, like, holy shit, this is really happening. And I think when you're talking to this person, you're going to feel that energy too. Like, oh, wow, this is the person that was predicted. Like, it's going to come in quick. And you're going to be, it's going to be unfamiliar and kind of even scary to you a little bit at first, I think, because it's just not going to be the kind of relationship you're used to. You're going to be like, well, this person wants to, like, take me on a date. There's no catch. Like, there might be, like, some distrust there at first. Like, you're not sure what's up with this person. But, but, um... I think it's going to feel right. I think your intuition is going to kick in. Like, you're, you're going to know, I think. That's what I'm getting from this. So I, I did intend on pulling cards, but I ended up just channeling instead. I am going to post another video right after this one, so, so check back for that one in a little bit. Um, and thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested, I do private readings. My contact information is below. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe if it resonates.